If you start looking online for information about embroidery, you'll quickly find embroidery that's done on felt. Felt is a great option for embroidery. Today, I'm gonna to share with you five reasons that are good to stitch on felt and one reason that's not so good. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So felt can be a really good option for embroidery. And there's a bunch of reasons that make this good. The first option is that it doesn't require a hoop. Felt is a very sturdy fabric and so it doesn't need the extra support of a hoop. So that makes it easy to work with and also economical. Felt is a perfect choice if you want to introduce embroidery to a large group of people without a big investment. Another reason that makes felt good is that you don't need a super sharp needle. This is especially good if you want to stitch with kids. As long as the needle can go through the felt, then it's great to use. The third reason is similar to the first reason, but you won't need an additional stabilizer to go underneath it. Sometimes if you're stitching on really lightweight or flimsy fabric, you'll need to add an extra layer of stabilizer to help support your stitches. Felt doesn't require anything like that. You can just stitch on the fabric as is. Felt is also super easy to finish. So when you cut felt, the edges don't fray. And so that makes it easy to work with and easy to finish. So there are a lot of different options for felt. This is a little Christmas ornament that I made, and you can see that it's just backed with another layer of felt, stitched on the edge with running stitch, and there's a little bit of stuffing in the middle just to give it a little bit of shape. So this is a fun little ornament, but you could use the same method to make a larger pillow or a pin cushion. This little felt ornament is just backed with a plain piece of felt. And in this case, I stitched them together with a running stitch, but you could stitch this in other ways. So this is great, not only for a little ornament, but also if you're gonna do a coaster, placemat, table runner, anything like that. Just two pieces of felt is a really effective and easy finish to do. You could also embroider a little piece of felt and then applicate that onto something else, either another stitching project or to embellish clothing, bags, whatever you wanna do. There's a lot of different options for embroidering with felt. The last thing that makes felt a great thing to stitch with is it's really economical. There are all different kinds of felt that you can buy, but even craft felt from a discount store can be used for embroidery. So if you wanna do embroidery with a school class or a guide or scout group, then simple designs on felt are a great way to introduce this. The one thing that makes it difficult to embroider on felt is that it is difficult to mark the design. So because of the surface of felt is not smooth, it can be difficult to trace a design onto it. Experiment with the felt that you have and different kinds of markers and chalk and see how it looks on there. Even if you can mark basic lines, it will probably be difficult to mark really intricate designs. So for felt, I prefer to use designs that can be more free form and they don't require a lot of marking. So for example, on this piece, this has three flowers. I could mark just the stems to embroider and then know that there's a flower at the top of each stem. Or I could even just eyeball the stems because, because with organic designs like this, if the stems are not exactly the way that the design on the paper is, it's still gonna be beautiful and that's not gonna be a problem. So if you're confident copying from a picture and just eyeballing it, then that is a really good option. However, if you want the security of having a design there for you, then another good option is to trace that design onto tissue paper and then pin or base the tissue paper onto the felt. And then once it's on there, then you'll just stitch through all the layers. So you'll stitch right through 
the tissue paper. Once all the stitches have been done, then you can just rip this tissue paper away from the stitches and the stitches will be left on your fabric. So no matter how you stitch, have fun doing embroidery on felt. For more embroidery tutorials and inspirations, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.